Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed Java IDEs. And actually, you have found out that we had discussed three open source IDEs. That was NetBeans, uh, Eclipse, and basically, we discussed the IntelliJ. And uh, onto that, also, we actually uh, installed Eclipse into our <coughs> program. And uh, today, we are going to look at a whole new topic and ask ourselves, what is Java structure? It is very important to understand the structure of Java before actually we engage into its principles. And on to that particular journey, we are going to look at the definition, basic structure, and implementation. So let's just start on to that particular journey. So what is a structure? Basically, we know that a structure, actually, it is a standard format. So a structure uh, has, to, uh, has to have a standard format. So it is a standard format for developers, actually, to write programs. So it is used actually uh, to write programs. And uh, this programs and this particular format, it is actually uh, recommended by what you have called an expert of languages. So expert of languages basically are used, sit down and come up with a particular uh, format that will be universal and that particular language and all developers have to follow uh, that particular structure. So what actually it is this particular basic structure? So in Java, the basic structure uh, uh, actually contains around six items. So uh, we'll have what you call the documentation. And then we'll have what you call the package statement. And then it will have what you call the import statement. And then we'll have what you call uh, the interface statement. Also, we'll have what you call the class definition. And the last one will have what you call the main method class definition. And on that particular method class definition, inside it we'll have our class and our main method. So basically, this will be our basic structure which contains uh, these particular six items and these six items they must be actually followed by all java programmers in order to have a standard code and actually they are very important so let's see so this particular uh, documentation that is uh, uh, documentation it is actually uh, suggested that you have this particular documentation because it is actually very important for readability of that particular item and basically that uh, documentation here it contains what you call uh, 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 comments for actually writing up a program so basically the documentation contains what you call comments and there are two types of comment that is actually the single comment and what you call the multiple comment and then basically what we have uh, the second part of it uh, uh, it is what you call the package statement and in the package statement actually this it is optional 
you might want to write it or you don't want to write it it is very much okay so the package statement basically uh, contains collection this one contains collections of classes and interface and uh, basically uh, the package uh, you must have <coughs> a default one and for example you have got java.lang and then the next part of it is what you call the import statement this one again it is optional a developer might want to write an import statement or not and when we come out <coughs> to the import statement again the import statement contains what you call predefined uh, statements and uh, predefined statement stored in a package and uh, these particular ones they for example we have java dot util maybe dot dot so that basically is the one we are going to have there and then the fourth one is also optional it contains what you call an interface so an interface basically it is similar to a class but contains constant and method so it leaves out uh, uh, most of those particular details and um, uh, they must uh, actually be instantiated so they must be instantiated in order to be used and then we have got also uh, the fifth one it is what you call a class definition and a class definition also it is also optional because it contains several classes and uh, other classes and these particular classes basically they are used for uh, uh, calling other classes inheriting other classes and so on and then the last part of it is the method uh, it is the main method class which is actually very essential and this it is a must for any java a program to work and when you're talking about this it actually uh, contains the class which actually defines the method so and uh, in this particular method basically we have what you call creation of objects we have calling of other methods and other things so that is very very important to understand that particular concept now this is basically the structure of c programming so when we go to eclipse basically you can see this is the comment here we are giving it out that is a java structure and uh, it is actually optional to have so this was suggested so here we are saying our program is about the java structure and then we'll have a package so we don't have our package here because it is optional then we'll have the import statement is optional we didn't have it here and then we have the interface statement which you do not have here also it is optional and then class definition ended up here also it is optional however the essential part of it actually it is the method uh, main method class uh, 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 declaration O and here actually we are having up our class which is called hello and then we have our main method which is very important we are, uh, which we call it main and basically here we can write up a, a very simple program let's take for example we want to initiate uh, uh, some variables so int a and you're giving it a value of 10 and then we'll have our b you're giving it a value of 50 and then we'll have a, maybe our sum so basically here we have declared uh, uh, a few of them and then here basically we are saying our sum should be equals to a uh, plus b so basically that's what we are saying and then basically what we want to do uh, we want just to output our sum so here we'll say system 
dot out dot print ln and basically what are we saying the sum of a plus b equals 2 and then basically here we are saying plus our sum and then all statement must be terminated so we terminate so when we run this particular program basically we are seeing actually the output is here which is the sum of a and b equals actually to 60. so that actually comes to our end of this particular session until on to our next session we say bye however don't forget to subscribe bye for now